All right, before we end off this vlog, I want to bring something else to the channel real quick. And it happens to be three things. These are all books, all written by Nancy Bell Kimsey. And I got a story for you guys, which I'm going to share with you on the Arctic Vet Family Channel. So head over to the Family Channel to find that vlog and find out more about these three books. This first one here is Joy by Roaring Campfires. Devotions for Campers by Nancy Bell Kimsey. It's so awesome. It's so awesome how God works. Another one that she has. We actually have them all. Grace on a Rambling Road. Devotions for RV Travelers. That could be perfect for you. You guys and RV, our RV travelers living in the RV life, check this one out too. Now, don't worry, some of you might just be like, man, I'm just not an RV person, I'm not into camping, I'm not outdoorsy. Well, guess what? We got one for musicians, called by the composer Devotions for, Musi <laughs> Devotions for Musicians, also by Nancy Bell Kimsey. This is so cool, guys, they're so cool. Now, specifically this one, I accidentally got this one, but it worked out great because I have somebody very special in my life that I'm gonna give this one to. And that happens to be my, be my brother Dylan. And Dylan just recently got all of his music, two of his songs, I should say two of his songs, out on Spotify, YouTube, like all the streaming services, it's out there now. So look up Dylan Michael, The Disciple. Look in the description below and you can find um, a link to some of his music there. Now, as far as these devotionals go, I'm also gonna add a link down below to all three of these. So that if you guys are interested, you can pick yourself one of these up too. And man, I, these things are so cool. All right, let's dive in real quick. Let's dive in. Cohen likes the campfire one. That's all right, let's see it. We'll read that one. We'll read the campfire one. Let's just go to the very first one here. And it says, Only Passing Through. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob who were heirs with him on the same prom of the same promise, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. Hebrews 11, 8 through 9 and 13. What is the greatest number of days in a row that you have ever slept in a tent? Did you change campsites every day? If so, you likely packed a few you likely packed as few items as possible in order to break camp quickly and travel light. Abraham spent most of his life living in tents. Although the land through, the, through which he traveled was the land that God had clearly promised to his family, the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews includes Abraham, his son Isaac, and his grandson Jacob and a list of heroes of faith. These individuals are whew, excuse me, condemned not only because they demonstrated their commended, I am so sorry, commended not only because their they demonstrated their faith through obedience, but also because they considered themselves to be foreigners and strangers on earth. They were only passing through to travel light through life, spiritually speaking, is more than embracing minimalist and paring down the total am amount of our possessions. Light living cre cultivates the idea that we are stewards rather than owners of everything that we have. We take care of our belongings and don't use them wastefully, but we're also we also are willing to give them up if God leads us to share. If anyone has material 
possessions and sees a brother or, a, or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? 1 John 3, 17. We also don't insist on grabbing the best seats or the largest cookie. Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Luke 12, 15. After Abraham became wealthy, he owned so many animals that the land could not support both himself and his nephew Lot. When they decided to go their separate ways, Abraham allowed Lot to choose his portion of the land first. Lot chose the fertile plain of Jordan, seemingly a better choice. But Lot had deliberately chosen to pitch his tent near the evil and corrupt city of Sodom. God reminded Abraham that he would continue to bless him. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Genesis 13, 15 through 16. In the very next chapter of Genesis, we learn that Lot and his family and goods were seized and carried off during a battle, and eventually Sodom was utterly destroyed. Meditating upon the brevity of life, the joys of eternity with Christ, and the unending faithfulness of God will enable us to view this world as our temporary, temporary dwelling and our possessions as a gift on loan from the Lord. A prayer for today. I, see, this is why I really enjoy this. She put in a prayer for each day. Like That's so cool. Dear God, help me to travel light as I walk through this world. Thank you that you promise to provide for all my needs. May I never try to hold on selfishly to that which will not last forever. Amen. That is so cool. So cool. So again, guys, these are all by Nancy Bell Kimsey. Check the description below because you could get one if you're a camper. She's got one for campers. She's got the one here for RV travelers and musicians. Super cool. Now the family vlog, go over, head over there and check that out as you will find out more information about how we came across these. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it, if you found it helpful and useful, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will see you in another vlog. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ.